welcome y'all and since you see the background scenery in my face in front of the camera this is one of the many series I'm making and that means get your glass relax and hear a story from my crazy life hi my name is Ryan and I'll be telling five seasons of crazy life stories Tamp Soper season you can't really miss it it's pretty cool so Uncle Ryan is going to tell you the story of how he got into a coma. And you see, it was when I was born. 2000, November 9th. I was put into this world, but almost put out. My mom and dad took me home. And everything was all peachy keen until the next morning. You see, I suffer of a disease called maple syrup urine disease. And as funny as the name it is, it doesn't mean that I piss maple syrup. If you were an old fan of this fan base, you heard me explain it before. But instead of sparing you that, I'm going to tell you. It's a protein deficiency. Most kids with it don't survive or don't have a brain like mine. So, uh, with this disorder, I'm pretty much a big deal. But, um, next morning, after they had me, they brought me home. I wasn't looking too great. I was seizuring out and everything smelled like maple syrup. You see, when my disorder triggers, I give off the scent of pancakes. Crazy, right? Well, anyway, they started freaking out. What do we do? Well, they called the doctor and they wanted tests for me. So they took some tests, but it was too late when that happened. I was in a coma. Oh, that's good tea. For about a few months, probably, I was in a coma, and then I woke up perfectly fine. Uh, a little sick, but other than that, fine. And it was pretty crazy, knowing that I don't remember it because I can't, you know, I was born. But to tell the story from a third person area, it was kind of crazy seeing how I survived that, right? And, right. I was hooked up to life support and everything, had the tubes, had the IVs, the whole fix. And still to this day, I get caution with my disorder. You're probably thinking, how, how, how do you get sick often? How often do you get sick? I don't know. Uh, Disease-wise, I don't get sick that much. But I do get commonly sick a lot because I have no immune system. So this whole COVID business, yeah, it's got my ass paranoid. Either way, I survived that coma. You know, I got a developing brain. Figured out the diagnosis, and they're like, well, your boy's going to smell like maple syrup when he's sick. And so if not cooking pancakes and you smell it, freak out. <laughs> but, but either way, um... This is episode one, and we are running on maybe like two minutes. I can't see the camera. It's too bright out here. And I hope you all enjoy this. I have a lot more stories in the future. I used to tell stories with gameplay, but I thought you could see my face, and, you know, we all have a drink together. And we all just enjoy the environment of just face-to-face -face talking, you know. Um, I have a lot of stories for days. This is obviously episode one out of ten of the first season. And I am going to be doing this. I know I always say, like, oh, I have this series coming up and I'm going to be doing multiple episodes. Well, I have no time on my hands with nothing to do. So, I'm probably just going to be sitting in the back porch telling y'all stories. And, uh, well, I survived death as a child. It's not really much of a big deal. It's a short story, I know, but it's pretty crazy. And, uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Adios.